All right, let's fire this thing up. tell you the center console fits perfectly but we do have some huge gaps on the inside here yeah i see them no amount of caulk is going to fill those babies in no we're going to have to get creative well good deal you made it hi i'm john graviscus it's great to have you working around the boat with us again if you recall we recently added a new floor to this boat and we did it in a way so that it had a slight bend in it's a little bit higher in the middle than it is out towards the side and that's so that we can get water to quickly shed from the deck. We want it to go out to the sides, back to the transom, and then escape out through a couple of holes. These in nautical terms are called scupper drains. And today on Shipshape TV, what we want to get into is we want to somehow get this fiberglass center console to conform down to that deck in a way so that it fits nice and tight against the crown that we built into the deck. Also, if you recall, we cut out this vessel's inner liner in order to gain a little bit more room, and we accomplished that. But take a look at the result here. We now have an unfinished side of fiberglass that we have to contend with, and it's pretty ugly. A little while back, we did the same thing to another one of our project boats. I'm talking about our 1984 Mako 228 project boat where we applied the epoxy white, we sanded it, and then we painted it over. And I gotta tell you, the result is a thing of beauty and I would love to obtain the same look for this Seabird. Now, if there's still a little bit of time, I'd like to also show you how to apply primer to the vessel so that you don't have to take it into a spray booth. This is something that the do-it-yourselfer can do to his craft. But before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill by now. You see, we need to work out a little trade-off. We've got to get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us right here on the water's edge. And then in exchange, right after I gather up a few tools in order to cut down this fiberglass center console so that it'll fit to the deck, we're going to do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape. 